Hi, I'm Steve Spangler from Steve Spangler Science and the Spangler Effect, and we're excited to do this collaboration with Grant Thompson, King of Random. Now, when Grant called, we're huge fans. He called and he said, would you do something in the backyard? What would spice up a party? What would take a, a boring summer party and make it kind of fun? Of course, some science would do that. The key here is to find some things that are around you uh, and let one demonstration lead to the next, leads to the next with your big finale. This is going to be fun. You can't overlook the obvious. You know where I'm going. All right, no one's going to need this trash can. This becomes the perfect table because you're going to need that bottle of Diet Coke. Now, I know you've seen it a million times, and so let's see if we can add a little twist to something like this. First of all, there's a lot of people that go and find the Diet Coke. They say, why do you use Diet Coke? Well, of course, because it's not sticky, right? There's no sugar inside. It gives us a huge, great eruption, great carbon dioxide inside. And the classic version, of course, uses Mentos and some way to be able to drop them. Now we use this little test tube because we're a little geeky that way, but you could take just a roll of paper, uh, make a little tube, drop it down. I'll show you the classic, right? So this goes here. You would be amazed how many people haven't seen this before. You show it to them, they've never seen it before. They've been living under a rock. But now watch what happens. When you drop down inside like this, again, it's not the carbonation coming from the Mentos. This is, this is just releasing the carbon dioxide gas because the little pits are on the outside. Three, two, one, that's beautiful. See, you love that? The life of any party. But see, now they don't have any more diet soda to drink, which is no problem at all because the host has got something else and you'll grab something else. But let's say that you didn't want to do it this way. You didn't want to waste it. Let's say maybe you wanted to use that eruption to be able to serve people some soda. Well, a little trip to the hardware store, a couple things in your bag, and now you've got something cool to show them. Take a look at this. Well, you can see it was a trip to the hardware store and we've been through this a lot, right? I just painted it to make it look cool, but there's nothing more than PVC. So it's PVC pipe right here, kind of hooked in and we've got it uh, sealed at the end right there and sealed at the end right there. So now the whole idea is this becomes a soda dispenser. So in order to do that, we've got to work ourselves backwards. And so here is what we're going to do. Start brand new bottle of, of Diet Coke. Now, if this is old at all, if it's been sitting in your garage at all, don't use it. It's not going to give you a great eruption. People ask, well, will the brand name better than the generic? I'm just telling you, if, if like I'm filming something or doing a presentation or a show, I always use the brand name. It seems to give me the best results, but try it. It's in a different experiment in and of itself. Now, the object here is I want the Mentos to fall down, but I really want everything sealed. So that's where we came up with this little device right here. Take a look at it. See, it's a little tube. I just fit some pieces together here. This is actually a little connector that goes right here. So let me push this down and that's perfect. Got it? So now I can't load the Mentos in here. Otherwise, that's gonna, uh, they're gonna fall down and, uh, and erupt immediately. So that's where this comes into play here. We actually came up with this as a different way to be able to drop it. So here I have the nut and I have a neodymium magnet. So let's see if I can drop this in here and pull this down. Perfect. See how it's held in place there? I think that's going to be pretty good. So now we should be able to drop the Mentos down here like this. Ah, see how it stays right there. Perfect. Now we're going to load these up. So this goes in here, here, here. Perfect. So now you pull the magnet. Now the Mentos will fall along with that nut and all the carbonation of course pushes out all the soda. We want this now to go on top right here like this. So we twist this in place. Perfect. Looking good. So now if I pull this theoretically it should shoot up this way and now cascade down. That's where you get six of your friends. So here we go. They are going to love this. Here's this, here, and here. You ready? So when it comes time to serve the carbonated beverage, you know what's going to happen. Ready? Three, two, one, drop. Perfect. See, these two people were on a diet anyway. They didn't need nearly as much as this one, and these people got a lot. I'll let you figure that out later. But that's a great way to serve six sodas. I think. But maybe you want it to go higher. Maybe you want it to go like 30 feet. That's, we're gonna use the geyser tube, a little toy we invented where it drops the Mentos. But more importantly, it drops it, and because it's funneled up a little bit, we get a little Venturi effect, and it shoots it out. This hole here gives us kind of a mist in the air. If you really wanna get people wet, this is what you use, all right? So again, brand new bottle of Diet Coke. If it explodes accidentally, remember it's not gonna be sticky. So that's one of the reasons why we use that diet. Perfect. 
and now we're set. See how this locks in place? Now we're ready to go. So this goes on top like this. And now it can just sit here, ready and waiting for you to drop it. All right, this is in place. Now when you pull, you just gotta stand back. Ready? Three, two, one, little pull. Nice. See, that's not a mess, right? That doesn't get everything all around you wet. It doesn't, of course it does, and that's exactly what you want. But here's something very cool about this. Watch this. You can actually reuse the Mentos. So if I turn this upside down and I dump out all of the soda, look at how I'm reclaiming the Mentos. I can actually take those Mentos that I used before after squeezing all of this out like this. Let me dump it all out. And look at this. There are even better pits on the outside this time than before. So now I simply grab this, twist it off here, and I can use it on the next bottle. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna use these sitting over here like this. Let's drop these right here. And because we live in the States and because 4th of July is a big deal, look at this, red, white, and blue. So this goes on top like this. So now we're gonna use them again. But this time, we're gonna get a three shot. You just gotta move out of the way. So you pull them and then you move out of the way. You ready? Ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and pull, pull, and pull. Nice! That's the fastest way in the world to waste three bottles of soda, a couple rolls of Mentos, and to have plenty of oohs and ahs at the barbecue. I'm a mess. The next rule is a very important rule of backyard science. Never do it at your own home, do it at a friend's home because you're gonna make some modifications to their stuff, right? So you got a trash can, but on the bottom here, get ourselves a, a hole. So you simply cut out the hole here. I don't know, you figure it out. And on this side, this is a shower curtain. Now, this is the classic red trash can smoke ring launcher I've used for years and years and years on stage and on television. But for a backyard, you could actually use um, a tarp if you wanted to, a blue tarp. Bottom line is you just need to have this membrane here so that when you hit it, you get a blast of air that comes out. And I'm using a bungee right here to be able to hold it in place. Last thing you're gonna need is smoke. And normally I'd use a smoke machine, but you're at a backyard, right? So you don't wanna use a smoke machine. That's why you're gonna use, of course, a smoke bomb. Now, if you just put the smoke bomb on the pavement, it's probably gonna discolor the pavement and the guests are gonna love it, but the host is gonna hate you. So that's why I have this old paint can. And the paint can has holes in it like this. So now I can drop this down inside here, either put a lid on top or in this particular case, I'm just gonna let it smoke, put this over it immediately. Ready? So here we go, this is on, light this on fire. Here's our smoke, nice. And now this is over the top, oh, perfect. Here's our smoke inside. So you fill the trash can with smoke. Does that look great? Oh, that's perfect. So now, when you blow the smoke out here, we get a great example of Bernoulli's principle, right? Fast moving air creates this area of low pressure. And you get these beautiful smoke rings, watch. Look at this. No, go ahead, right to you, right to you. These great, bam! They're gorgeous. So you get these beautiful smoke rings. Look at this. You're gonna smoke the neighbors out. They're gonna love it. And you left the host with a perfect little parting gift. Honestly, they're not gonna mind. Well, if you're gonna go to this much trouble, you might as well really do something great and get some liquid nitrogen. Now, I don't know, go to the liquid nitrogen store, get yourself some liquid nitrogen. My job's not to tell you where to get it, it's to teach you how to do it. And then, climb up on your friend's water feature. So they're not gonna mind, honestly, it's not a big deal. I know that they spend a little bit of money for this, but don't worry about it. This neighbor doesn't even know we're in her backyard right now. Now you just stand up here like this, you take liquid nitrogen, it's 320 degrees below zero, you give the plants a little shot like this. See, what backyard party isn't perfect without a little liquid nitrogen cloud? Honestly, it's a good idea. Well, those are the things I'd suggest you do at your next backyard party, but if you're coming to my party, I would do this for you. You can't do this at home, I'd do this for you. So I'd take that extra bottle that we had from the Mentos geyser, I'd put a little bit of liquid nitrogen right there in the bottom. Don't try this at home. And then, I'd come over here to this bucket that you see. Look at the water that's right there. I'm gonna cap this off, and then I'm gonna put this trash can over the top. 
So this gets capped off here like this. And now you just kind of stand back because if you stand back and you watch, it's growing and it's getting bigger and bigger. And that bottle is getting bigger and bigger and bigger until finally the pressure can't stand it anymore. That's awesome to do in the backyard. Not, not at your backyard, my backyard. And if you came to my house, ah, I wouldn't even take it in my backyard. I'd take it in the neighbor's backyard because I'm not going to ruin my stuff. Hey, if you got a great idea for a backyard science trick that you'd like to do, just put it on a comment below. We'd love to see it. All right, get busy. You got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, clean this up. Sorry.